Cave Springs is a very fast growing community. Specifically, they've had a lot of residential growth in the last decade and I think are poised to have more. In 2020, they updated their future land use plan. Mayor Noblet has a lot of interest in the downtown and the historic character. And so Initially, I hadn't heard of ULI, but we hired a new city planner recently. He had worked with a city that's nearby and he had been involved with ULI and he introduced it to our city. The vision is basically you have a downtown core and working through how that's restored. There are several large landholders downtown, one of them being the city. And so it's just been a topic of conversation, like how do we weave all this together, right? How do we look at what the needs of the city are in the future? They know they need to expand their city facilities to meet the needs of the growing city. They have this amazing public open space. And then over the last couple of years, the city's worked really hard with RDOT to try to get an alignment for the future bypass that makes sense and is going to bring a lot of value to the community. And so you'll see that on that page. We well. were here to serve the Cave Springs community and help them determine some first steps, some key steps they need to take to develop their master plan. They have an opportunity to access the expertise of multiple agencies that can help them determine you know, the future growth and the future planning for their community. It's really been an opportunity for the city to have experts come in, assist through the ULI process of evaluating where our potentials are as a city. We met with some stakeholders and got feedback from them about any concerns they had, any vision they had for their community. Visited with people to find out the things that are important to the people in Cave Springs and then followed up with their expertise and their study to give us guidance for the future. We also did a walking tour around the community, you know, to assess the walkability of the town, the, the safety for pedestrians. We've looked at the vacant space, the buildings, the commercial, residential. We heard a lot of consistent thing across the stakeholders, and then depending on their interest, there were some, some groups that had very specific things that they recommended or, or wanted to look at. Um, we definitely heard about the importance of the natural area surrounding the hillsides, but most definitely the lake. I had some expectations, but not exactly what was presented. There were some areas where I thought we had challenges, downtown open space, things like that. I found out there's some willingness with some of the property owners to consider utilizing some of that uh, vacant space and actually allowing for future growth if it's done well. And I feel like the people that were here and helping us are experts in how to do that well. People who volunteer their time to come and help a community are not interested in telling them what to do. We're interested in hearing what they want and then giving them some vision steps to move forward. Just to recap on the diagram here, if, if you think of those kind of walkable radiuses that, that you know, by the 10 minute walk, we got downtown which encompasses main street and the adjacent neighborhoods we've got you know call this uptown which which might be an, an area where we talk about traditional neighborhood developments highway realignment is obviously you know first and foremost on everybody's mind what impact is that going to have to the downtown uh, walkability the, the the streets the main street impacts of that pedestrian connectivity we looked at values of vehicles and there's currently 14,000 vehicles on this stretch of road daily we roughly estimate, based on what we think diversions will be, there's about 5,000 cars in the future when both of those different big RDOT projects get done. So you should be able at that point to walk down and see gaps where you can actually get across the road if you're walking. There were areas that kind of surprised me in, in the discussion at that point that I didn't know were even options that I'm glad to hear and very excited about it. I would say do it and do it sooner rather than later. There's so many 
ideas and things that we gained from this. And I just think that the sooner you can do it, the more opportunity you have.